Hey y'all, today we're making this laptop stand. I'm looking to make a laptop stand for my desk that's adjustable. I need it to sit up off the desk, but I want to be able to adjust the angle at which it sits. So sometimes it can be tilted up if I just want to use it as a screen, or other times it can lay more flat if I actually want to type on it. Cutting out the pieces for the sides first, two of them get a hump in the front. That will make sense later. We're going to use screws to hold together the main structure. So I'm going to pre-drill all these holes and then add these deep countersinks so that we can use plugs on them later. Putting the first pieces together, I found it's easiest just to use corner clamps to make sure the pieces connect perfect. I first pre-drilled and then glued them together and then timed down with the clamp to insert the screws. Once the first side is done, repeat the process for the second. For the last brace, the corner vise won't fit, but the structure is essentially built, so just gluing and clamping them together and then adding the final screws. Same process applies to the second slide. For the lifting structure, we're going to need two side pieces, so I put the stop block on the miter saw to cut them to size. These pieces are going to need holes for the doll rods, so I mark the angle where they're going to sit against these sides to make sure we put those doll rod holes in appropriately. If you didn't catch the last video where we built this Moxon vise, I'll add the link here. We're going to use a lot of it today to drill these holes for these doll rods. Two brace pieces are going to connect these two sides, and so we need to drill and countersink holes for those braces as well. We're going to need several dowel rods cut to length, and then several of the other side pieces are going to need partial holes to accept dowel rods in the build. There's one special piece that has to get drilled all the way through. This is going to be the actual brace that holds the stand up. Once we got the hole drilled where the dowel rod will slide through, then we need to cut it down to size. To make sure it fit well, we needed to shape both the top and bottom of this piece. For the top, I started shaping with the handsaw, cutting out an angle on each side, and then finished it up with sandpaper to round it over. I used the same process for the bottom except the opposite. We need to create a trench here so that this will rest against a doll rod without moving. So I cut the angle down towards the center on each side, and then finished this with sandpaper as well. And now for a dry fit, these pieces are all we will need for the main structure. And these pieces will build the actual lifting structure. Here you can see that there are two little doll rod nubs in the end of those pieces. That'll be important in just a minute. These three cross pieces connect the two sides of the lifting structure with the middle one getting our special brace and then we're matching up the holes on the other side. To create the main base, I'd already pre-marked and pre-drilled exactly which cross piece goes with which side. So I'm just realigning those to make sure the right pieces go together, and then I screwed in the top and bottom to this one side piece. Now you can see that on the inside there are three holes that we had drilled partially through. The two back ones will get full doll rods, but the one up front is where that little doll rod nub goes to act as the hinge. And with those in place, all we have to do is align the top. And here's what the final structure looks like. It's able to lay flat with a laptop on top, and then move it up one rung for a slight angle and a second rung for a steep angle. Now it's time to disassemble. A quick sanding of all the pieces to make sure the edges of the dowel rods and any chips are taken care of and breaking the final edges by hand. And then pre-staining. I did a pre-stain here for areas that will be difficult to stain later, like stuff that's going to be in the middle of the structure once it's built. Now admittedly, this is one of the areas that I have the most to learn about, mainly finishing products. I'm using a gel stain here, which I highly do not recommend. It was a mess to work with, and it ended up looking more like brown paint than stain in the end. 
Time for final assembly. We're gluing in the dowel rod nubs into this piece and gluing in the three dowel rods, uh, but we're not gluing in the middle brace piece. That needs to be able to rotate and flex to hit the right angle for the lifting function. The other piece that won't be glued in this assembly is the dowel rod nub connection into the base structure. It will be held in tight by the two cross pieces that are being screwed in, and the friction fit will allow it to rotate up and down for the lifting assembly. Last but not least, to hide the screws, we're applying these wood plugs into all the screw holes. Small taps to make sure it's tight, and then wiping off the excess glue. And once dried, I cut them flush. Time for a final sanding. And now for the final coat. And here's the final product. Overall, I'm happy with this build. You can see that when the stand is at full height, those humps that we put up in the very front are actually what hold the laptop there and keep it from sliding down and off the stand. This has freed up a bunch of space on my desk and is more ergonomic with my setup, allowing me to see the screen at more of an eye level. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next project. Thanks.